Welcome to Georgia Ag Chat. I'm Brad Hare with the University of Georgia College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. I'm here today with Dr. Nathan Smith, farm economist with the University of Georgia Cooperative Extension. Hey, Dr. Smith. Hey, Brad. Good to be with you today. Today we're going to talk about peanut acreage in Georgia and the country and what's that doing to prices right now and more importantly what they may mean for prices next year. Dr. Smith, give us an idea about what we're at with peanut acreage right now in Georgia and in the country. Well, Brad, we're down on peanut acres in Georgia for uh, 2011, below 500,000 acres, uh, pegged at 480,000. And uh, that's the lowest acres in Georgia for peanuts since 1982. And as a matter of fact, if you want to go back in history books, that's the lowest, or we've only been below 500,000 acres three times since 1967. So uh, you, we could probably call this an indication of where the bottom might be in peanut acres. Um, for the U.S., the uh, planted acres are down uh, about 11% at 1.15 million acres. Now, with the acreage being so low this year, and if you consider right now the southeast is pretty much being mauled by a drought, and I'm thinking at best we may get average yields this year, and if we do, I'm thinking farmers are going to call that a win. So thinking about average yields, what are we looking at as far as production this year? Yeah, average yield is being used right now is 3,200 pounds for the U.S. Um, you know that we've been a little bit higher than that in Georgia, but uh, you're right. This year, an average yield would be a good yield, and uh, at 3,200 pound average, uh, we would have about a 1.8 million ton crop uh, for the U.S. And that would be below our total use. The uh, for for U.S. domestic use and exports, uh, we'll use about 2.1 million tons uh, this coming year. So. Uh, the supply is going to be uh, significantly cut this year. So when you talk about supply, we've got to talk about old friend demand, and that's where prices come in. How is the expected tax supply affecting prices right now, and are you willing to take a gamble on what prices may be for next year right now? Well, that's, that's a good question. Prices have been uh, a little higher this year for 2011 going into uh, planting, but they hadn't really gone followed quite as high as cotton and corn and other crops. but. Uh, the market's been quiet because of the uncertainty on acres, uh, how many acres were actually going to be planted, but shelled market price right now has been trading around 80 cents per pound for medium runners, and even recently it's been uh, uh, published at 95 cents per pound. And if you want to convert that back to a farmer price, we're talking eight, uh, more than 800, 900 to 1,000 dollars a ton on a farmer stock basis. So. We should see better prices if uh, shelled prices hold on like this into the harvest and even next year. Well, there you have it. Uh, peanut acreage is bottom out in Georgia, maybe even nationally. That sets us up for a good next year as far as uh, pricing with uh, peanuts. But we have a long way to go with this crop this year. And uh, Dr. Smith, I've noticed, has a wristband that says praying for rain. So Dr. Smith and many of us will be doing the same thing. And until next time, take care, give thanks, and good luck.